So, hey everyone, and welcome uh, back to 4pm live. We are here for you. Um, today, I am going to sort of continue my theme uh, with self tapes. I'm kind of, like I said on uh, last week's one, started at the beginning, all the way from angles, backdrops, lighting, uh, editing, and now we're on to compression, which I feel like nobody knows about but it's a real pet peeve of mine. So hopefully I can enlighten you all uh, with something that's also free and we like to do things for free. Um, so yes, yeah, so a compression with self tapes today. So compressing a self tape is so important. Um, files are large, particularly let's say if your self tape is over two minutes and you've got a lot going on in it, the file size, the megabyte size of that file is going to be huge. Um, nine times out of 10, I would say, maybe 95% of the time, casting directors ask for it to be sent to them via WeTransfer because it's downloadable. Um, if you are not e-management clients, um, then yes, casting directors do sometimes ask for it to be sent via Vimeo, but if you don't have a Vimeo Pro account, you can't download someone's uh, footage, you can only view it. Um, and what usually happens, the casting director will receive a tape and then they'll be sending it off to maybe the producers or they wanna keep it so they can view it at another time. So if you can't download it, then obviously that's a problem. Yes, sometimes they ask for YouTube links um, or Vimeo links as well, but um, that's just pretend they've asked it to be sent via WeTransfer. You can also send tapes from Tagmin, but not everyone does that. So pretending we have filmed our tape and we've sung it or we've acted in it um, and we've edited, edited it, edited it, and now we want to compress it. Um, so as similar to what I was saying last, uh, last week about the whole 4K uh, 720p situation. Once you've edited your self tape on iMovie, like I showed last week, the video is on the IGTV on the U Management page. Um, it asks you how you want to save it. So you can then go ahead and save it in 4K, but that's going to be a large file. So save it again in 720p. Naturally, iMovie will compress that slightly because if it is a large file and you're putting it into 720p it's going to compress it slightly which is perfect that's what we want um if the file is still too large and I'm gonna go and say anything over 100 megabytes is large so you've got to think you've got to send that via we transfer to your agent your agent has then got to download that themselves onto their laptop watch it, check it, make sure everything's okay. They've then got to we transfer that then off to the casting director. The casting director then has to download it, potentially either save it or send it on. So if it's a large file, maybe someone in that chain might not download it. Obviously that's not gonna be your agent. I will obviously always download my client's files. Um, but I would be concerned that a casting director might get, let's say they get 150 tapes and one of them is 600 megabytes, you're just gonna be like, that's gonna take up so much space on my laptop, it's gonna take like an hour to download, I live in the country, my Wi-Fi is terrible. So let's not leave that to chance. So I have an app on my phone. Once again, I don't have an Android phone, I never have. Um, so the app that I use is literally called Compressor and it's free on uh, the app store. It does come with a bunch of annoying adverts, but I will accept the adverts if something is free. So um, similar to last week, I'm gonna show you how I would compress a file. It's so simple. My glamorous assistant, mum, if you could please take the phone, <laughs> that would be great. And I will show you how we do it. Okay, so let me flip the camera. Super, if you caught that about there. Wonderful stuff. Okay, so this is my like photo and video section here. I've got an MP3 converter. Maybe we could talk about that another time. Um, so here's my compressor app. This is what it looks like, and it is free on the i uh, the uh, app store on an iPhone, which we enjoy. So we click on that. Same as last week. Oh, here's all my photos. Uh, same as last week. I can't really see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pick from my videos, and I'm gonna pick one that's 720. Okay. So. Turn that down. One, this one is 721 megabytes. So I'm just going to go ahead and click import. And then we have a really annoying advert. We'll just 
wait us through the advert there we go the x has appeared so like i say it is a free app so the adverts are there okay so what we have here so we've got our video here and then we've got what it was so it was 721 mega 721.7 megabytes the app is telling me that it can convert it to 231.2 megabytes without losing any quality so the the bigger the file, the lower you then make it, you will distort the image. It will be blurry, it might change shape, and the audio will be distorted. So what this app is really clever, and it's very slow, is it will play the before. So we don't need to play it, but this is what it looks like before. This video is on the management page, if you are very interested as to what I'm rambling on about in that one. So it's telling me that we can convert it to that. Now I'm just gonna go right down. So this is how you decide what you actually want it to be. You go, no, do you know what? 403 is fine. That's not fine, but we'll say it is for now. But let's pretend you wanna bring it right down. Okay, so that was 721 megabytes. I'm gonna make it 112. You can view the after so you can see the video she says you can see the video well you can't see the video okay live tv no okay so usually what should happen is you can view the video maybe it's because it is too small and too distorted you can view the video before you compress it let's pretend we watched it and it was too it wasn't good i sounded like a robot and i was all blurry just bring it back up again to 191. I've picked a large file deliberately because 721 megabytes is absurd and I would absolutely not recommend that you ever send a file that large unless someone has specifically asked and has said that it's okay. Otherwise, assume that's too long. I know where I live, that would probably take maybe an hour and a half to download onto my laptop. Obviously, I would do that for my client, but would a casting director do that for my client? Who knows? I'd like to think they would, but what if they don't? Okay, so let's pretend, okay, fine, we've watched it, it's okay, um, and we're happy with it being 150.5 megabytes, so it's telling you just here, this is what it was, this is what it is now, and we've moved it by sliding this up here. Um, you then literally click on compress, and then, oh, watch this take forever, it's going to test me today, isn't it? Yeah, yes it is. So once that starts compressing, maybe I shouldn't have picked a file so large, um, once that's compressed, it will literally have saved to camera roll and you will then, that will be saved to your camera roll and then you can send that off via WeTransfer. I'm going to prop myself back up again if that's all right. There's my garden. There, she's back. Oh, and the phone's falling over because I haven't got my tripod and this is why tripods are very, very important. So yeah, what would have happened, it's now on 36%, but you're, it's pretty self-explanatory. It will literally just say, save to camera roll, or when you know when it says you can do sort of other things, like send it via WhatsApp or whatever, obviously this file will still be way too large. So save it, and then you can send it off on whatever channel it is that your agent has asked you to do so. You do this after you've edited. So you will edit, then compress. That is is pretty much how you compress a self-tape. It's not that exciting. This app is free. I'm sure there are better apps that maybe work a little bit faster and don't show me up on a live. Um, but I'm sure you'll probably have to pay for them if you're willing to do so, then obviously do. Um, but if, you know, free options are always a winner. Um, so that app, Compressor, I do recommend it um, highly to absolutely everyone. I just want to reiterate i would probably say 100 megabytes or under is something that i would go yep yeah, that's fine if it's over 100 megabytes and i know that they've asked you to do three scripts a whole song and play your piano then obviously it's going to be large i know that that's fine try and keep it under 200 um but if it's just a quick little 30 second uh, clip of you singing or whatnot and the file naturally is already 30 megabytes don't compress it. That's fine. Anything anything under 80, naturally, absolutely fine. Don't lose the quality. If it's 100, try and get it down to maybe 80. If it's over 100, try and get it to 100 to 80, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's it.